Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also subscribe and join members if you, if you like to. It's so a join button below this video or the link in the description box. That's where I post all extended messages, additional channel messages, the detailed stuff that you guys seem to like. Um, so definitely join if you're interested. It also really helps support my channel as well. So thank you to everyone who has become a member. Um, yeah, guys, this is uh, the most chaotic reading of my life. I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, you can tell when I'm doing it on this little blue box is because, yeah, there's chaos. <laughs> I have to go clean up all these cards after, but um, I, tried, I tried for you guys. So uh, we're going to get into it. This might have to be a two-part video because there's a lot to go through, but I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know. And first off, we're going to start off with some just random channeled visions that I had over the last few days. Hey guys, if you ever do feel like donating to the channel, I do really appreciate it. It's the PayPal link below in the description box, or um, I also have an Amazon wish list if you want to donate cards or something as well. Um, again, very much appreciated uh, so much. So thank you to everyone who does that. Anyways, okay. So first of all, just starting out, just some random vid visions of the last few days, guys. I was seeing a brick wall. Um, I was seeing a soccer net, a soccer ball. Something about oranges or clementines. I also pulled a lot of cards on that today. Something about a knife, which again, I had another vision of after that. Um, a cubicle, someone could work in a cubicle or an office. Um, I'm also seeing a remote, which is so crazy. Then I also pulled the card on the remote and that is significant as well. Uh, uh, something like even just a remote to a car, a vehicle or like a garage opener. Um, also, I was seeing a uh, tread on someone's tires or something to do with the tires needing to be replaced, like a pop tire or it could have even been purposely, I don't know, but there's something going on with the tires. Also, I'm seeing clothes hanging on a like clothes, clothespins liner. I talked about this, I think, last night in members or the one I just posted. Um, also something about spider web, spider man, edge of a cliff. I'm seeing someone there. Something about, um... What else? Jet jet engine, jet pack, something about even the movie Spy Kids or something new with a spy. Again, that's a very significant message. Um, also, something about putting up forest fires or some, someone could be a fireman here. Um, spraying a hose. I was getting something about like for farms, like you know when you spray all the vegetables down, like stuff like that, putting the, the pesticides or something on the farm. I don't know. Anyways, I'm also seeing something about a, I don't know why I was randomly seeing like a forest field surrounding the earth or do you know like in the, I think it's like a Simpsons episode where it's just like, there's just like this like, I don't know, forest field. I don't know why it's there. I can't even remember, but it just surrounds like the whole city or something. I don't know. I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing something about a chemical spill or something about chemicals. I'm seeing like the hazardous symbol. I think that's what it is. It's kind of like four squares sort of like in a circle. And then also I'm seeing some someone cutting wires with scissors. Something about cutting a cord even that could be metaphorical. I'm seeing someone pulling a rope. Um, something about I keep seeing. Okay, this is a vision that's coming through over and over. I'm seeing someone's hands up against a glass, like a glass, clear glass, and I'm seeing someone on the other side, like a masculine on the other side, some woman on the other end, and I'm seeing someone like putting their hands up against theirs. I'm also seeing someone another vision like banging on the glass. Um, something about being trapped, I can't get out. This makes me think of honestly, guys. Like it has to do with this message. Like someone could be in. Um, some sort of prison or psychiatric ward we're gonna get into that but yeah that's kind of what i'm getting with that message because that's been coming through a lot um or even just someone looking in through a window it's very creepy but that goes along with this um also i'm hearing something about someone sprinting like someone i was seeing someone uh, put running shoes on someone could have recently gotten new shoes specifically like maybe nike or some sort of like running shoes and i'm seeing them going for runs like someone about to sprint i'm also hearing something about a lightning rod or lightning like struck by something struck by lightning i keep seeing like electrical currents something with the current or electricity voltage input output something about that um i'm also seeing someone throwing spears or darts uh they, someone could be spear fishing even or they could be into archery something like that or throwing even a knife or like i don't know uh axe throwing like in an arcade or something um what else also it makes me think of thor too which again i don't know i think of storm lightning 
Okay, and then also I'm hearing something about Cantonese. I also, guys, keep getting stuff about spaghetti over and over. I kept hearing stuff about spaghetti. And then you know what? My dad comes over and he's like, oh, yeah, your mom just made spaghetti. I was like, oh, my God. Such a message. Um, anyways. Okay, also I'm hearing something about heart racing. Someone with a gun, guys, I'm hearing. Um, being chased. Again, these are just visions I'm having. Something about running down back alleys even. I also was getting messages about a car break-in and um like stealing just like random stuff this could be a odd message i feel like it just came through like very randomly um if someone has like a blue honda civic or just like a blue car of some sort or even just a honda civic like one of those options like maybe be careful i don't know something about being at the stores or out somewhere even and then someone gets into your car and they steal like a purse like i'm hearing something about a stolen purse but it had like keys in it even and then someone's being told i keep hearing um change the locks change the locks on your door maybe this is something you already did um or this is someone something a masculine's doing but i'm hearing something about changing the locks like a key was stolen maybe yeah and then like some form of money I'm getting more about break-ins, but, like, that's the one for the car that I'm hearing. By the way, another car that's so significant I keep hearing about is, is Sudan of some sort. Sudan. I keep hearing about that. It could be silver or black. I don't know. It could be another color, but those are the ones I keep getting. Anyways, continuing on, I'm also hearing hijacking after that. Something about swimming. I'm seeing someone splash around in water. Something about... I'm also seeing buildings crumbling, like an apartment building even. Could have to do with um, construction though, because I was seeing also like a wrecking ball, but then I did hear storm after, so it could be... I don't know, something to do with a building coming down. Um, I also was seeing someone holding a fire in their hand, which sounds so random. Um, it made me think of a uh, fireball. It could have to do with alcohol or something about, um, I don't know, it makes me think of, like, video games, too, or, like, I don't know why, I just got a vision of, like, is it anime or something? There's some character that, like, has, like, fire, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know much about that, but also I'm seeing something about a lighter as well, so it could just be someone lighting something, and then also I'm hearing Indian Pakistan, uh, something about a jewel on someone's head, um like indian you know like i don't know what it's called i'm so sorry i'm hearing sorry right now sorry um anyways but yeah you you guys will know but anyway something about belly dancing as well um a snake i was seeing something about a riot or a protest in the streets i keep getting like um it could be a concert like i just keep seeing i've seen this before but something about a in the streets, like, a bunch of people holding signs up, like, saying something on repeat. I don't know. I'm seeing that or flash mob. Um, what else? Something about Daniel Radcliffe. Crowd applause. Large crowd of people with signs, like I said. I'm also seeing something about boots. It could be significant, even in a court case, maybe, for someone. Or just, like, someone wears leather black boots or something. Um, something about a video game shooting. I'm, I'm really seeing someone playing, like, some sort of like first person shooter game um something about braids or waves in someone's hair someone could have recently braided their hair something about definitely braiding something and then also i'm seeing waves but as in like radio frequencies and then last night i did talk about uh static on the radio station um in the members message again join members if you want all of the channel messages and then also something going on with dna i keep seeing that too that could be a message for someone and something to do with a horse saddle, a crowd. I also heard blowing the house town, like, in the story with the, what is it, with the, with the wolf? Um, is it, I don't even know. Anyways, I'm seeing something like that. And then something about wine as well. And I'm hearing the song Keep Holding On. And then something about a silk dress. Okay, we're going to actually get into the reading now. I've, like, <laughs> I feel like there's so much to get to. I just wanted to say those messages before we got into things. Okay. All right, so moving into the actual reading itself, guys, we have the three of wands here to start off with. And this card right away, what I'm getting is this is actually representing mainly a divine feminine here, but we're also getting like a little bit of the masculine's energy too. I feel like it's kind of like, um, I want to say like rubbing off on the masculine. <laughs> like their energy, I feel like is like transferring over to this masculine as well. Like he feels the same energy, but I'm getting like a divine feminine is just like, stand in her power like we talked about in the last read i'm really getting that like i was hearing all these songs and things like i'm hearing shut it down by pitbull it says 
Can't tell me nothing now, baby, I know how to fly. Can't hold me down, I'm gonna touch the sky now. Watch me, I hit the jackpot on the road to the riches. Get diamond rings, moved up from the streets. Gra graduated hustler on his way to an entrepreneur. Undefeated down shooter, now baby, save me from the game before it plays me. My life's a movie, call me Martin Scorsese. And really interesting, by the way, I could have said that wrong, his name, but Martin Scorsese, Scorsese, I don't know, is an American and Italian film director, producer, screenwriter, and actor, and he went to New York University. So definitely some things there. Um, I keep picking up on something to do with film and a screenplay. Someone here could be a writer. You could write, I'm, I'm getting like someone reading out dialogue, like acting something out even. Someone could be an inspiring actor. Someone could even star recently in a commercial or be like I get like this could be someone's hope one day or they they act in plays or something I'm hearing something about like the school of arts or art program like again you could be getting into that industry like entertainment industry somehow I just see that like writing a script for something even anyways I wanted to point that out and then I'm also hearing the song like it's my life it's now or never I ain't gonna live forever. Yeah, so uh, this is the vibe right now with our Divine Feminine over here. And then also our Divine Masculine's kind of like getting into that energy a little bit more too. I'm getting someone here is just kind of like feeling like there's just so much more out there for them. I feel like someone's really realizing that at this moment. Like they're like, wow, like there really is so much, so many opportunities for me. And I feel like someone's finally like, Maybe I should actually act on some of these things I've always wanted to do. That's kind of the energy I get because the Three of Wands is all about, it can be like a waiting energy, but it also can be about looking on the horizon, you know, at the boat, see the boat out there, like all the new things that there are to come. Like she knows that there's so much better out there for her. And I really get that with this card. Like this is someone really excited about their future, I feel. And with the birds in the card, it makes me like definitely think of a lot of freedom as well something to do with again becoming your own uh, business owner like your own boss sorry um an entrepreneur something like that could be in your future like i really get that for some of you guys like um i'm telling you like if you're this is clarifying it by the way so <laughs> all of your wishes i basically just see like things are starting to happen for you like things are gonna start picking up in your life like a lot of things that you've been hoping for are like starting to come to fruition i keep getting this message about the seed that you planted like a long time ago like this wish you had that you continue to wish for is starting to develop into your life like it's just on the horizon you see it out there like it's coming in for you now and it's coming in hot is what i'm hearing with this right here so it's very exciting and then okay other stuff i have coming out someone could be spanish here or be learning spanish once again or speak spanish um, I also over and over keep hearing staircase to heaven. That could be a message for someone. Um, I have to be honest, guys, I do keep getting a message of someone could be crossing over soon or someone recently did. Um, I, I do get that someone's sister could be not well. I keep getting the message about a sister. Um, it could be a younger sister. I'm not really sure. Just a sister. I'm seeing like a feminine energy that could be sick, um, in hospital, yeah, um, I just want to point that out. I mean, it could be anyone. Honestly, guys, I also get something about someone's father. Maybe it, it might be someone, I don't know, just someone that hasn't been doing well for quite some time that could have recently passed. I do see like attending a funeral or something, but that's not for everyone, of course. Staircase, staircase or stairway, sorry, to heaven also talks about just like, you know, uplifting as well, like moving up in your life, like you're on your way to someone, someone or something that feels quite heavenly, right? So in that song, it also says there's a lady who's sure that all that glitters is gold and she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed with a word, she can get what she came for. See, it's talking about too, like how what I talked about in that one message, the one where I said divine feminine, you have to watch this. Um, that message, we talked about how powerful your words are, right? And how powerful like your thoughts are and how you really affect this whole process too and i feel like we're seeing that now like we're seeing the divine feminine step more into her power in this reading so like good job guys everyone that's been watching i feel like you're doing the work and also um 
it's just saying that, you know, like she knows that she can get what she wants now. Like if you ask for something from the universe, spirit's like, yeah, like we got your back now. We know like we're going to open doors for you if you ask for it and if you trust. And I feel like that's what's happening now. Um, also, we've talked about diamond rings. We've talked about gold in these two songs as well. So that's a message too. Um, it also says there's a feeling I get when I look to the West. And I also pulled a card earlier today that said driving West. So that could be a message for someone as well. I really want to point out, guys, that I'm seeing a lot about driving on the highway. I'm getting messages as if someone is traveling. Um, I keep seeing someone on some sort of bus, even waiting at a bus stop at some point or a subway station. I was seeing someone even put change in like someone's cup at a subway um, or like an underground. I don't know. I never travel by a subway at 4 a.m. I don't leave my house, guys. Okay, I'm really boring. But um, yeah, I'm seeing some kind of bus stop signs on the road um like someone's driving on a highway something about driving in a truck like a big truck i've talked about this in a few messages recently but a transport truck or um like a u-haul even like someone could be moving across the country i'm getting a lot of messages about moving houses right now um i'm seeing there is even could be arguments about um like who's going to continue paying the rent on some sort of house like i see like a i don't know guys there's so much coming through like a family argument about a house and like they're like well we need you to stay in here because like who's gonna pay for these bills and they're like well I don't want to you know continue paying for this like I don't want to live here anymore I don't know there's something going on with a house um moving to somewhere new or moving to a new apartment I was hearing studio apartment that could be the case for someone here it might not be a house they could just be moving to apartment and for some of you I'm seeing that a masculine might be leaving honestly I'm seeing for some like an uh, abusive household someone here could have recently left an abusive household to move to somewhere with a family member or a close friend um and this could be in new york for some of you i'm even i keep hearing like something about the top of a new york building like i'm also hearing something about the empire state building that's been coming through but i'm getting um someone could live in a studio apartment in new york or they could live for some of you, someone lives in a penthouse, like, or a really nice place in New York is what I'm getting. Like, someone, if they can afford that, that's what I'm seeing. Um, but I do see someone could potentially be moving in with, like, a brother or some sort of sibling to save money for a little bit. Um, or because they just got a new job. Um, for some of you, it's in New York, the new job. Or it's in, for some, it's Toronto I'm seeing as well. It could be somewhere in Canada. Um, or, or Quebec keeps coming out too. And I'm also getting messages that someone could be recently driving back from florida someone could have recently been in florida and be driving back from florida to one of these places potentially be taking a flight back somewhere i just keep getting that a uh, party could have recently happened in florida or someone could have been visiting family in florida uh, for a party or something like that just someone could have recently been in florida i really strongly get that message so i don't, I don't know sorry guys i know this is so random but i told you guys when we do details it gets a little crazy, but you guys wanted this, so we're doing it. We'll try to do a mix of these type of types of crazy readings and then some more calmer readings, like the last couple, which I find easier, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, okay. So that song, you can go listen to the rest of that song. The Starway to Heaven has a lot more messages in it. Um, okay, I'm also hearing something about an archway, and that came out as a card too, actually, now that I think about it. Um, yeah. We'll talk about that in a second um i'm also hearing stood up for yourself at last i keep hearing someone recently stood up for themselves um something about legislative change and leading the way i keep pulling cards like you guys are gonna change the world someone here is gonna change the world this could be in regards to even like environmental laws or just some sort of law you could end up changing somehow i just see like powerful energy here i don't know it's a nice vibe though I'm also hearing the song rock and roll all night party every day something about your majesty i heard i also heard will you take my hand for a sec i want to show you something i don't know i'm hearing something about shea butter autumn leaves something about a barking dog a toolkit gift wrapped present i'm hearing ironing board mason jar Thing about ottawa ontario i'm also hearing chopping vegetables something about kmore appliances i do get again someone could be moving into a house i also heard something about an lg fridge the other day 
Um, someone could be buying appliances for their new home. I do see that uh, definitely happening right now. I also was hearing something about granite countertops. Um, yeah, I'm also getting human rights activists, so that could be a feature for some of you guys. And I've seen something about a disc or a CD or even like a record, maybe someone likes old music or something, something about donuts or paper clips. I'm getting stuff about office supplies, like someone is moving um, jobs, like, or they're transferring to a new city, but like maybe staying at the same job or they got a new position at their job. Like something about your career could be changing right now or this masculine's career, someone's career here is changing. Um, I keep getting messages about someone wearing headphones as well. Maybe someone listens to a lot of music. Okay, and then I'm also getting messages about birds. Like, birds landing on you. Like, like I don't know what's with the Disney movies, but I keep hearing... It's stuff like you're kind of like Snow White or someone's in nature and, like, the birds are landing on them or they're feeding the birds. Like, something about birds is coming out or someone likes to go take pictures of them. I just keep getting that. It could be a message with, like... Um, the fact that birds represent, you know, kind of like freedom and flying, um, something along the lines of a plane as well. But um, birds in readings always, for me, uh, represent communication as well. So that could be a message. And then I'm hearing born to be wild, can't be contained, Freemason, something about Stonewall, Stonehenge, garbage disposal truck. I don't know what's with that. Heard the numbers three and seven. Something about also I'm seeing someone tacking things up on a bulletin board or a wall. Something about decorating a space or a banner. There could be like an upcoming birthday party or I don't know, someone's just decorating maybe or this is in an office. By the way, we're going to get more into like what all this means in one second, guys. Sorry, I just want to get through these messages. <laughs> I'm also hearing something about holy matrimony. I'm hearing you're coming back for me tomorrow. Something about you can't resist me. Becoming your true self, stepping into your power. I heard, are you not afraid? Ready to take that leap because of you. And okay, I'm also hearing that song where it's like, because of you, I never stray too far from the sidewalk. Because of you, I learn to play on the safe side so I don't care. Uh, what is it? Because of you, I find it hard to trust not only me, but everyone around me because of you. I am afraid. Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, that song definitely makes me think of the fact that, again, the last reading, well, the one where I said you had to watch it, that reading that we talked about, um, basically, it's like this divine feminine is realizing that she can do everything she wants to do. Like, I feel like someone's just, like, not letting another person hold them back anymore. Like, someone is putting this energy back into themselves. And I also see... But I see this as like divine feminine and divine masculine. Like I see a divine masculine not letting a karmic person hold him back anymore. And I'm seeing divine feminine not let this masculine hold her back anymore. And she's like focusing on herself more. So both ways it works. That's what I'm getting. And then also I'm hearing something about pawns again, starstruck, believe in yourself. I heard I can't really take this anymore. I'm talking to my friends about you. Yeah, I'm getting a masculine keeps saying that like I can't take this anymore. Someone is fed up with their life, with their current situation, and they just were like, I feel like someone recently was like, I'm just done. I am done waiting around for this, or I'm done living my life like this. I'm just getting someone's in this mode of like, I'm ready to change my life. I'm gonna do it all right now. Like, I just feel like someone just got fed up with it, and they were like, no more. I'm gonna change things. That's the vibe I get, and it's a really nice vibe. Like, I just want to yell or something when I hear this. Like, I feel like someone's on a cliff, and they're just, like, yelling out to the world. I don't know. I get this really, like, lively energy or something with this, and then right after that, I'm hearing live in la vida loca, and, um, that translates to the crazy life. <laughs> um, and then I also heard daring, bold, rich, daring to dream. I had a dream. I'm hearing the Martin Luther speech as well, even with this card. Like, I don't know. This is a really interesting energy. Um, I heard something is straight out of a movie. There could be something coming up in your life that seems almost like impossible, like a, a wish fulfillment that's coming up that makes you really just like, I don't know. I feel like you're going to be shocked by something that you never thought was even possible in your life. But I feel like it's coming in because, again, someone's getting into that receiving energy of just, like, trusting and stepping into their power, I feel. 
And then also I heard journal entry 76. I know maybe someone writes a lot in a journal. I heard shine bright like a diamond. So maybe go listen to that song. And also we're talking about diamonds again. And then I also heard um, part of that song where it's like, I choose to be happy. <laughs> and then something about Richard Simmons. I don't know. That came in very random at the end there. <laughs> Okay, and then in terms of this card as well, another just quick thing I want to mention is that she is right on the edge of a cliff, guys. I just talked about that. That was a channel vision before I even had this card out. Um, and then that makes me think of the song like, I'm on the edge of glory, you know? Like something is so close. Like it's you could see it. I feel like you can see it. Like you know it's just so close to happening. That's what I get. That's the energy right now. Um something too about overlooking the water i'm hearing cliffhanger as well someone could be writing a novel again or reading something um i also getting someone could live near a marina maybe or something with boats i do get a lot about boats um i heard taking a stand something about the white dress as well do you see what she's wearing even like for some of you you could get married like in the next year or so like honestly i'm just seeing marriage and someone's future there's definite definitely a masculine that is interested in marriage i'm telling you guys straight up like there is someone here who wants to marry someone and when this happens i'm telling you guys it's gonna be like fast like really fast i don't feel like this is going to be a like a long amount of time from when you guys reunite or something until you get married and i'm gonna tell you more about why i know that is because it's just coming through and it's crazy but you're gonna have to trust me on this like for someone here you're just gonna be shocked by this like i feel like it's just gonna be like a whirlwind and it's all gonna happen so quickly um because again i don't know you're just in this receiving energy right now it's wild okay so something by the way you could get married by the ocean too and then i also was hearing what was that place um starts with a t tahoe is it tahoe i don't know somewhere in Spain or I don't know you could get married in like Greece Spain like something where it's like rocky has cliffs or something like that or I'm even getting like somewhere up high I keep getting like a mountain edge somewhere really pretty with a nice view over water anyways um Lake Tahoe I think that's what I was hearing sorry that was just kind of random but yeah um I heard there's more out there for her I also heard dreaming of freedom a life without worries and then and the other song that I was getting, lastly with this card, and now we'll we'll finish up here. I've also been hearing, um, it's like, I've been standing at the edge of the water Long as I can remember, never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect, you know, that song from uh, Moana. So I just feel like someone is looking at the ocean, maybe literally, and they're like, there is just so much more out there for me and I know it. You're like, this cannot be everything in my life. Like, this is not it for me. I know, like, I just know that there is more out there for me and, like, I'm going to live it. Like, I know it's going to come to me or I'm going to I'm gonna go out and get it, you know? I'm going to chase my dreams as long as I have to or I'm going to trust in the universe that this is going to happen for me. That's what I get. Yeah. All right, and then moving on to the Eight of Cups energy here, guys. Um, I'm hearing the song Anywhere Away From Here as well. Uh, so that is definitely a song. I'm definitely getting something going on with quite literal travel right now for someone. I really see someone packing up and moving. For some of you, it's across the country or over an ocean or coming back from, again, Florida. Somewhere in Florida, something about Mexico. Um <clears throat> I don't know. I'm seeing travel for sure, though. And again, New York, Toronto, Ontario, places in Ontario, Quebec, Montreal. But um, I see someone traveling in a car, too. I'm seeing... Uh, we'll get more into this, but I, yeah, I'm seeing two masculines having conversation traveling in a car together. Like this, again, could be someone's friend or sibling. I'm seeing them talking about a divine feminine in the car together and what he plans to say. And I feel like this masculine is traveling towards a divine feminine or like moving to a location like closer to her or he's moving for a new job and then planning to reach out to this divine feminine. Like that's what I see. I just see a masculine is like on the move with someone else and I'm really getting it. Like I even see them stopping at like, <laughs> this is so random. I'm seeing them stopping at like a McDonald's drive through or like an, one of those on routes and they're, and they're stopping in there to get food and 
they're having more conversations i'm seeing someone reading a book inside of a mcdonald's or like flipping through some sort of magazine or again someone's reading some sort of speech or dialogue with someone but i feel like it's just like casual chat or conversation that they're having inside this mcdonald's they're eating burgers and just like talking about what they plan to do next i'm also seeing someone shopping at a mall too like buying new clothes um i just see them like making stops along the way i even hear taking breaks so this could be driving again like somewhere far like maybe someone's driving back from florida it's a long drive and they're taking breaks along the way like something like that but we'll get more into that later but anyways um with the eight of cups though first off what i'm getting with this message is um there's definitely something again about sitting by the water dreaming of more for their life i'm getting but I get with this card, this kind of strange energy, something about ghosts even, by the way, I keep seeing people sitting around a campfire telling ghost stories or someone is telling ghost stories. I was getting a whole bunch of um, like scary movies that, so maybe people were doing this. I, I do see, I really get here, something recently about um, like friends sitting around a fire and drinking. You can see a lot of drinking going on here. I was hearing Bud Light um Coors Light something about Bacardi rum and then also now I'm hearing vodka but um there was something else about I think wine too and I was seeing like a bottle with a cork but um yeah anyway so I'm seeing people sitting around a fire having conversations and in those conversations I get like they're starting to get deep in this conversation you know when you I don't know if anyone if you drank here or like even just when you get in those deep late night conversations i feel like that someone's opening up more about their feelings and maybe that's when yeah they start talking about this divine feminine and their all their feelings for her and also just about their life and how i i just see someone being like yeah like if that's what you want like you should go after that like you shouldn't just hold back and i don't know i'm just seeing some really deep stuff like someone's getting emotional even but i feel like it starts off kind of light like they're just talking about ghost stories and things and just like joking around you know just like typical stuff but and then it gets to kind of like this deeper talk and i get guys that someone here starts thinking about like that you know like death even like they're thinking about like how long do i really have on this earth like am i utilizing my time correctly i'm getting something about like someone's thinking about what legacy am i going to leave behind one day like would i be happy with my life you know if i died today like that kind of thing like they're getting really sentimental about stuff and see the hourglass right here there's definitely a message on timing i'm getting that someone here feels like they've wasted some good years of their life in a certain location or a certain job or even to be honest with a certain person um i'm seeing that they feel also they have regrets about their past maybe not taking certain job opportunities in the past or not taking the risk on certain things and that also includes with a divine feminine as well they feel like they kind of messed something up that could have been really good and they feel like now there's been so much wasted time that kind of thing i'm hearing for some of you someone feels like time's running out they're worried about aging um there's also a message too about someone's health like someone is really overly concerned i feel with their health they may have good reason for this like i've been hearing stuff about blood thinners lately something about a doctor's appointment something about sore knees um what else there's multiple things that have come out over the time guys um again she's touching her stomach in this card we talked about this in the other read with i think a different deck of cards even but anyways yeah see she's grabbing her stomach there could be going something going on with someone's stomach i also get though that guys there's a masculine here who's thinking about like having children and they're like if <laughs> if you're in that age range like they are thinking about children with you like straight up 1000 percent. they're like how old like are, we're getting older like i gotta have children soon like i want to have a legacy to leave behind like someone really really wants kids i'm telling you like just someone here does want kids straight up if that's not you then it might be someone else but that's what i'm getting um but also i get for some of you someone did have like some sort of health scare recently or again some one of their family members recently did pass the other side that's why we see this ghost here um and I see someone kind of dealing with that. And again, it affected this person in a way where it made them rethink their life choices. Like this really affected this person. And if it wasn't a death, I also see like a near death experience or something that really shook this person up once again. Um, for some of you, I also get that this person or someone here like is hearing, I was, 
I am hearing, which this sounds crazy coming from me. I'm hearing, hearing voices. <laughs> Does that even make sense? I'm hearing someone say I'm hearing voices. Like, so to be honest, guys, I do get that someone here, like for some of you, someone's just hearing things like in their dreams, like they're having visions of a better life. Like I get like, it's more like an intuitive message, intuitive guidance. Someone could even be having dreams about you, I get. Um, I really strongly get that for some of you, like a masculine is having visions of a person in his dreams, but I get that he like can't fully see her face. This is such a message, guys. If you remember, I don't know which video it is, but if you go back in my videos, there's one where I talk about the dream where a masculine was dreaming about a silhouette on the beach and this girl on a dock and he like couldn't see her face, but she like turned and he was like, oh my God, it's you or something like that. Like you're here. But then I feel, it was just a dream. Like he couldn't really see who she was. And then guys, I, I swear everything's a message. I've been trying to follow my intuition lately and watch movies that have been coming into, you know, my mind because of these readings. And one of the movies was The Little Mermaid and I haven't seen the new one yet. So I started watching it last night. And um, there's that one scene where he's like being saved on the beach, right? Washed up on shore and then he can't fully see her face. And then he just like doesn't know who she is. But then he like hears her singing her like siren voice, right? He like all he can remember is this voice. I get that's what this masculine is feeling. It's like he has this calling and he knows that there's someone out there for him. It even says that in the movie, like I know there's something out there for, or this girl is out there somewhere, you know, he, he's trying to find her. And this is exactly what I feel a masculine is experiencing. Like he knows that there's someone out there for him. Like he knows that he feels this intense connection. Maybe he knows who you are, like he knows it's with you, but I feel like he just doesn't know why he feels so drawn to you. Like he can't explain it. Like it's almost like, again, like the siren call or something. Like it just feels mysterious, kind of like spiritual. Like, why do I feel so drawn to this one person? It's something like that. For others of you though, I do feel like a masculine is just dreaming about someone that he can't see the face of and he hasn't quite connected the dots that it's like you or something like that. Like, I don't know. It's really, I really get that message though very strongly. Um, so that's for someone. And then also I do see for some of you, I've been seeing stuff about um, like, I don't know what's with the waves coming up. I'm seeing water. I'm seeing someone in, almost drowning even or something about a boating accident at some point. Someone could have went out on a boat for their birthday even. That's super random, but I see that. So that could also be related to that movie. And I do see too, if someone had a near death experience, like the masculine here, I see that during that near death experience for some of you, they thought of you or they like had a vision of you in almost a near-death experience like I don't know why maybe they can't even explain it but they thought of you or something and they just I don't know guys I feel like they thought of you and they're like why did I think of that one person like it was like you know when you're when everything's going wrong and like you just you want one person or you just think of I don't know how to explain it I just feel like this masculine was like why was that the person that I thought of first, you know, like when I thought I was going to die, like, why did I think of them first or something like that? You know, I feel like it just hit them. So I don't, I don't know if that's making sense to you guys, I hope, but anyway, so basically what I see here though, is that someone's got a really crazy running, fast running mind. It's, they overthink a lot. And that's also why you see the birds coming out of their mind. Um, but what I get with this message, because the birds are coming out of their mind, and for me, birds represent like, you know, thoughts, communication, lots going on. I feel like what's happening when they're drinking is someone's inner thoughts are starting to come out. And I'm hearing they're spilling out everywhere. Also, I'm getting that someone could be a little clumsy because they might have drank a little too much or be on some drugs at some point during this um I don't know, party or sitting outside by a campfire on the beach. Like I'm just seeing that someone drank a little bit too much. Maybe they're also spilling their drink, not just spilling their thoughts, but it could be just metaphorical. Um, that I do see someone starts really pouring their heart out to someone, like a friend. I see someone just telling them everything. They're like, I've been feeling this way for so long. Like, oh my God, like I'm in love with her. Like I've been feeling this for her. And like, I feel like I messed up this. And I just see like, you know, when you kind of overshare sometimes, I, I get that's the vibe with this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
I also get someone could be a little dizzy or I'm hearing like tipsy when they're walking like they can't even like fully stand up straight for some of you I don't know this might not be this mask it could be someone else but I'm just seeing that and again I really see this could be by a beach or like under the stars this is taking place I see just people outside they could be even having um s'mores or hot chocolate I'm getting as well and for some of you they are doing some kind of drug as well if it's not alcohol I get someone's like high I just it's the energy of this card like someone is it's like they're a little bit spaced out or like they're in another dimension a little bit here. I'm getting someone is fantasizing a lot. Someone's looking up the sky. Also, I'm hearing that someone is looking up at the sky and talking to it at night. Like they're talking to the moon, like that song, Talking to the Moon, um, trying to get to you. That's what it says in that song. But anyways, I really see someone actually talking to the sky. Like someone might think they're crazy, but I just see that it's like, they're putting their wishes out into the universe and if someone recently had a birthday I see them like wishing on their as their birthday wish you know like for their life to get better or for like even for you to come back into their life or for this to work out for them like I just see someone's making a wish talking to the moon or something like maybe they do it when no one's around but I do see that energy maybe someone does this on full moons maybe someone believes you know in that in the strength of that and like I don't know that's what I see there um anyways we'll keep moving forward by the way if you want to watch a movie and if you want to follow your intuition like i've been doing so i'm going to recommend this one but watch the movie ghost apparently because that came out that was the first thing i thought of with this card and then i saw um a clip of ghost the other day which was so random and i love that movie too i haven't seen it forever though so maybe watch that movie i think it might have some meaning to this card um probably a good example of it and then again, I'm hearing time's running out and then thinking about how long they have left on this planet. Someone's also thinking about the planet itself and like the health of the planet. I don't know, again, with the environmentalism I'm getting, something about tretinone I was hearing, something about retinol cream, someone is worried about aging once again or their hair. Um, something about as well, I was hearing viral sensation online someone thinks that the time is running out to achieve their dreams by a certain age as well so for some of you i feel like someone feels like they're getting too old for a certain thing or like you know they're they're not where they wanted to be by this age like i feel like someone's here really planned out their whole life and it just wasn't working out it's not working out exactly how they had hoped but i see that like spirit saying like it's just on the horizon right there if you can see it like I feel like someone got in this really down energy but then I see them coming out of it like they're not going to stay in this energy forever it was just like a down moment I feel like we all have but sometimes I feel like those really you know down depressing moments are almost like the moments you need like you have a really good cry and then I feel like everything kind of gets better right it's almost like a moment of a release I feel like that's what someone had here a moment of release they finally let out all of these thoughts in their mind that they've been holding in for so so long i feel all right so that's what i get with that um okay and then something too about all right we'll just get into the channel messages quickly for this card so i'm hearing oh my gosh there's so many ways to love you like those song lyrics like oh my god there's so ways to love you i sang that so wrong but anyways <clears throat> that's how masculine feels about divine feminine um, also I'm hearing, ready or not, here I come, you can't hide, you can't run, I'm gonna find you, and, um, I don't know guys, I might, that might be a message for a karmic person here, I'm gonna tell you about this person real soon, you guys gotta know about this person, I swear it gets crazier by the read, but, like, I also want to talk about, like, hopefully better news, so, it's all good, don't, like, worry too much, but, yeah, I just want to point it out. I'm also hearing Bethany Smalls again, and she is, I think, an elopement photographer from every time I, it's like the first person that comes up when I search it. But, you know, it's weird as I also um, pulled out a card the other day that said something about elopement. So that could be in the future for some of you guys. You could elope with someone. Uh, something about Las Vegas as well for some of you. Like, I feel there's gonna be something really rushed, but not like in a bad way. Like, I see someone doing it like tastefully, but like you guys are gonna like get together and it's just gonna be like, okay, cool, we're getting married. Like it's almost like that for someone here. It might not be like that for everyone. Again, timelines for everyone's different, but I see that for someone here. Like it's just reunion and then this masculine's like, okay, all right, let's get married. <laughs> like it's so fast. 
Okay. Anyways, and then right after that, I was hearing, I keep hearing wedding registry or baby registry, and I keep hearing Crate and Barrel as well, which is a registry uh, website. Okay, and then I'm also hearing something about jeans keeps coming out, something about blue jeans, fitted jeans, blue notes, which I think it's also like a jean store. Um, something about a blue dress again keeps coming out. And then obviously I was watching that movie last night again with The Little Mermaid, and in that movie she's wearing a blue dress as well, which is very interesting. Um, I'm also hearing stargazing, and then I'm hearing the song, start spreading the news, I'm leaving today, I want to be a part of it, New York, New York, so maybe someone is moving to New York, I really get that, like someone could be moving from some place to New York, maybe for a new job, maybe this person finally decided to take that job that they never took before, they tried to give it another chance or something, I don't know. I feel like someone's doing something maybe out of their comfort zone right now is what I'm getting. But um, that could be a message where someone is moving from New York to somewhere else maybe. Or just someone is leaving somewhere to go somewhere else. Um, I'm also hearing belly full of liquid. <laughs> so again, so we just drink a lot of liquid here. I'm also hearing Jupiter in Mars. Something about a really tall person. Um, I'm hearing sanctuary, and then I also heard start you startled me, something about buying time as well. I will get to that message more later. Um, I heard came here to de-stress, so again, someone could have came to the beach to de-stress. I do get someone could be drinking more than usual though at some point. It's like maybe this is a bad habit they kind of got into at some time. But I see them, again, I see someone coming out of that. I'm also hearing decompose, something about shallow waters. Um, I think... That's that Lady Gaga song too, I believe. Um, and then I also heard all this time I've wasted in different places. And then I also heard this song, I think by Justin Bieber. It's like, I want you to know I won't let go. Um, something about talking about your family and, their, and your ambitions. Heard I sat here by the beach and contemplated my life. Something about spilling drinks. I also heard something about a cast iron skillet. I mean, that would make sense by over a campfire, right? Like a cast iron skillet. I also heard drive by, I heard change the locks, something about dripping wet. Someone could be swimming. I heard, heard you were moving on, heart. Something about sporty outerwear, showing off my new clothes. I get this could be like a third party or something. Like I see this at, at like, I don't know, there's other people around too. I don't know. I heard gave my mother these tonight. Oh, I'm hearing a song too. Um, Tonight, I'm in love, love you tonight. <laughs> For all we know, we might not get tomorrow. Let's do it tonight. And then that's exactly what we just talked about. This person's like, you never know, you know, when you're going to go, right? Because they just saw someone, you know, pass. I feel like someone's having these, like, deep life thoughts right now. They're like, yeah, like, life's short, man. Like, you got to take action while you can. That's what I get from this. Maybe someone talks like that. <laughs> um i'm also hearing i want to talk to you tonight by the way i feel like if a masculine was drinking and talking about a divine feminine which i well i really see here um i see that he was really thinking about messaging you as well that night or calling you someone really was debating on that um i also heard slipping away silently tripping over the wire slamming door shut i really feel like someone could be a little bit drunk in this card or just maybe clumsy i don't know i also heard driving away heard you were leaving or moving sorry i didn't i don't live here anymore something about my great grandfather is listening this could be you know like someone who passed over someone's like i feel like they're listening um i also heard special turquoise ring congratulations on your engagement or congratulations on your new job so this could be like near future also keep hearing stuff about kentucky fried chicken a desert island, something about breathing. Okay, so this can be related to health issues as well. I get that kind of coming out in this card since we are talking about, you know, someone um, feeling like their life has changed maybe after someone their life passed, but I'm hearing breathing rapidly, shallow, hard to hear, fell over. I also heard shaking, take me by the hand, whisper in my ear, it's all gonna be okay, dear. I don't even know where I heard that. That's not even like a song, I just heard that. <laughs> Um, I also heard shooting, I heard bar fight last night, gloves came off, washing dishes, head over heels for you. 
I heard grandma's funeral, something about clash of the titans, heard caught you lying or cheating, you, I heard you SOB, we'll just say, also heard breathing tubes, something about someone's striations, I keep hearing like muscles or something, I keep hearing striations, I also heard um, they slipped away in their sleep, um, something about September 7th, I heard diagnosed with stage four cancer. Um, sorry, I hate I hate saying those messages. I really do. I also heard Riley Hayworth or Riley Cooper. Something, by the way, another name that came up um, is Alex Rodriguez, which is so weird because that's like a full name put together now of the names I've been hearing. So Alexander Rodriguez. Maybe it's one or the other, but I heard that. Okay, and then I heard staying late to see how you're doing. Will you talk to me? Spilling your drink. Walk back to the house with me. Slowly decaying. Falling away. Heard drumbeat hits. Salty ocean water. S'mores chocolate. Taking over your mind. Yeah, someone feels like um, there's a person taking over their mind. Like a divine feminine once again. This is like that movie all over. Like someone just feels like they can't get someone off their mind and they had to let it out. That's what I feel. Um, I also heard the song, only love can hurt like this, must have been a deadly kiss, yeah. Um, I feel like someone feels they would have been over this person by now if it wasn't something more meaningful, you know? Like, I feel like they just feel this connection and they're like, I need to do something about this. Like, if I'm feeling this strongly, I feel like that's what someone's telling them. They're like, yeah, maybe you should act on that <laughs> at this point. Um... I also heard on honorary member of the club or the tribe. I heard sisterhood of the traveling pants. Something about a baby crying. I heard shouting out here. Got Do you got your stuff ready? I heard, do you have your stuff ready? Do you have your stuff ready yet? Something about slamming doors keeps coming out. Someone's, yeah, I see someone angry, guys. I'm telling you, okay? I'm just gonna tell you quickly what I'm getting with this whole message. So I don't know what this is about. For some of you, this isn't going to make any sense, but I'm also seeing the same person that keeps randomly popping up in the readings, but I'm seeing someone in the military or like a veteran. I feel like he's from like Texas or Tennessee. He has like an accent, like country-ish, like where he works on a farm or he just like has horses or I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to talk in accent. <laughs> Um, he, I don't know. Or he's like a cowboy type dude. Anyways, I feel like he's kind of tall. Whoever he is, um, I don't really know who he is or why he's significant. It could be someone's parent, dad, or like a brother or a friend even. Um, maybe it's this Alex guy. I don't know who this person is. But anyways, um, I just see like someone here. Like I don't know if it's this person, but they just kind of came out in relation to this. But I see someone like overhearing this conversation. And I feel like it was meant to be kind of like private between this masculine and like maybe a few close friends or one close friend at this beach. And I see someone once again watching, like we always hear there's someone paying attention and I'm getting whoever's watching or heard this is like, ooh, like, oh my God, I gotta tell this other person. I feel like they tell someone else who's like this masculine's current partner or something that this masculine's planning to leave or something like that. And then their current partner freaks out and gets really mad. And, um, and that's when I see like slamming doors and things. But I feel like this masculine had planned on talking to this person to tell them eventually that they were leaving. But I see like for some of you, I don't even know if this masculine was going to talk to them like just before leaving. Like I see them like because for some of you, this could have been an abusive situation, honestly, where this person this masculine knows has some sort of slightly psychotic tendencies. I see this masculine trying to, like we said in other reads, like sneak away in the night even or very early morning. I'm literally hearing like 5, 5.30 in the morning to board a flight. Like I see him with a friend who offers to help him move and then they pack up the car and stuff. And I see like this person coming out though the door at like five in the morning with the keys to the car or something or they heard the car and they're like, what are you doing? Like, why are you up right now? Where are you going? Like, I see that they got like tipped off almost. Like they knew this masculine was gonna go because someone else told them or they overheard the conversation um, is what I see. Yeah, I really get that. And I also though, but I feel like this masculine guys for the longest time in this connection, like I told you guys in the last reading, um, how everything was fake, you know, someone was being Ken, like it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't real or whatever, but um, 
I see like for the longest time in this relationship, someone was acting like someone was not happy in this connection for a really long time. Like it wasn't just suddenly, it was for a long time. Someone was not happy. Someone was literally being an actor in this connection. Like they were just faking everything. I don't know. Like, I just feel like it was not going to work out for a long time. So yeah. But anyways, I see someone flipping out. Like they're like slamming doors. They're getting really angry. They could have even broken glasses or thrown things. Um, we're going to get more into them, but like, yeah, it's not good. But I see this masculine, like, yeah, trying to drive away or leave somehow. Again, this could have happened in the past. Like, this could have been an older message for some of you. For others, like, this could be more recent, like, depending on our timeline. But that's just what I see happening. And then I heard, I'm really tired right now. Can we just not, not talk about this? Can we not do this tonight? I'm hearing falling backwards, crouching down, sucking your lips. I don't know. I heard um worried you'll hear me on my way back to the house staying a little longer to hear your voice yeah by the way i hear someone's like taking drugs or like lays out on the beach at night to like hear someone's voice once again like i'm telling you someone hears something in their mind like they hear messages maybe i heard shy sounding like my mother songbird on the beach listening to a voice her sound can almost hear her um I also heard six more minutes, mom, trying to grab your attention in a dreamlike state out of it, fantasizing, drugged. So I don't know. Someone's just in this like dreamy state in this card. I don't know what it is. I'm also hearing Moscow Mule, which is another alcohol. Her transcript. Are you listening together, everyone? Something about Billy Hemsworth or Thompson, Billy Thompson, braided hair, can hardly hear you now. Closer to your lips, whisper because I love you too much. I also feel like this could be a discussing too, like someone's last moments maybe with someone, you know, like someone's like, I can't hear you anymore. Like, what are you saying? You know, like someone's just whispering in someone's ear. I don't know. It could be that as well. Like someone could be thinking about that at this time. Also heard broken hearted, drain board. I have to see her blinking red lights. That makes me think of like cops or an ambulance. Also heard cops. Well, yeah, right after that, her cops are out. I heard trying to accept this and move on. Something about a breathing tube, oxygen oxygen tank, removing the tubes off life support. I also heard DNR, guys. So for someone, this could be the case. <coughs> oh my gosh, I just started coughing so much. Just as I said that, my throat got really dry. That's such a message for sure. Um, I also heard failing to commit, contempt, drilling holes in the walls, and I heard peepholes. We'll get more into this. I just feel like this is an unrelated kind of message coming out. Well, at least for this card. But yeah, it relates to the reading. Um, I'm also hearing kitchen cabinets, both ends of the spectrum, situated along the coast. I heard Cape Canaveral, which is in Florida, or Cape Cod. And then I was hearing this song, guys. I will remember you. Um, like, I feel like someone could have passed on. Like I said, I can't sleep at night. I also heard Summertime Sadness, that song as well. You can listen to that. I heard something about a red dress um, in that song is significant. Something about telephone wires as well. It says, are sizzling like a snare. And I did talk about telephone wires in one read. And it says, nothing scares me anymore. I'm feeling electric tonight, cruising down the coast, going about 99. Got my baby my, by my heavenly side. I know if I go, I'll die happy tonight. See, I feel like someone's taking a risk and they're like driving early in the morning. Like we said, like someone's like, if I go, I'll die happy tonight. But like, I got to take this risk. I got to get out of here. That's what I'm getting. I got to get out of here anywhere away from here. Like that song. So I see someone driving down the highway, but I also get like, there's a third party that's not having this. That's not happy about this. Like, I don't even know if, I don't know. I see this person on the highway. So I feel like they got away somehow. Like I'm really seeing someone on the highway now. So I don't know guys, but I'm just seeing there's a big argument that happens with the third party. They're not happy. They don't want this masculine to leave. And um, I see the police could get involved. And I will tell you guys more about that in a second um, because there's a lot of messages about that. And I know some of you hate hearing about this part of the read, but I feel like this part's significant. I don't know it just like embodies everything that's been going on with this third party and like kind of gives us a whole storyline for it so i feel like it's significant but if you guys don't want to hear it don't worry about it <laughs> but i will keep continuing because there is more good stuff too that i want to talk about so 
yeah okay i think okay we'll we'll continue a little bit more and then maybe we'll do a part two for this reading because there's just so much to talk about and i really want to get to this point because oh my gosh guys there's some really interesting messages too coming out about divine feminine and also like what people are saying about you guys like once you get i'm seeing someone get married or like proposed to it's a lot it's like really exciting so i don't know i want to talk about like some of that as well anyways okay i'm also getting something about um heard right with this card guys i heard death um i know it's the queen of cups but that was the first thing that came out of my mouth when i saw this card and then also something about uh again marriage a white dress i think also that's a message right there for, in itself someone in the past thought that marriage was like a death sentence honestly i feel but nowadays i don't think this person feels that way at all after this like life-changing event they went through um with this card also I get that someone's thinking about who they want to spend their life with. Uh, I also get that someone is losing their mind or losing their head, you know, because she doesn't have any head here. Um, they're losing their mind, losing their head, thinking about this. Emotions are spilling out everywhere because also we have the moon coming out, which represents like our deepest desires and emotions. And again, look, it's on display right in front of us. So I'm telling you, someone's like deep thoughts just came pouring out. I just see like Again, obviously the Queen of Cups is all about spilling out emotion. Like that's what someone just did. They just let it all out and just told everyone all these things they've been feeling. But I don't see them. I see them soon. Also, this is gonna this is gonna spill over to Divine Feminine soon. But I just see right now it's like their closest friends now know everything. I feel like they told someone all about this. For some of you, they're even gonna tell someone's parents about this. I get like honestly, someone is talking to someone even close to you soon in the near future i don't know like they can't keep it in i feel like someone's just like it's just spilling out everywhere now they're like what it's just all coming out <laughs> i don't know um i'm also hearing slurred speech actually spilling so again someone could be drunk while they're doing this also are connected to the unknown because look at the neck like it's almost it reminds me of like a wire connected to something you know when you like pull something apart and you can see the wire connecting it like i just seeing that and this makes me think of like this person's connected to the moon the moon is all about like mystery mystery why did i say this so weird mystery the unknown something like intuition a higher power and that made me i literally said connected to the unknown and then i looked it up and it's the lyric in that song jericho again i keep referencing that song but i would go listen to that song again it just it relates so well to this message guys i would go listen to that song um that's how someone feels they're connected to something higher a higher power that's why it has the crown on too this is something higher than themselves it's like a higher being is what i feel like um i also heard right after that i'm high <laughs> something about drug use or to stop the racing thoughts is what i heard maybe someone someone could even just take like medication even to help with anxiety or something i'm also hearing evolution in my veins that's part of that song believing they are here for more staring up at space um and that song i think it says i've been dreaming about flying for a long time um i had a vision from the grays they want to co-sign something about co-signing on a house by the way i do get someone um saving up to buy their first home for some of you or they're thinking about moving in with you in the future there's talk of that or someone's gonna talk to you and someone's family about that i don't know i just see some talk about co-signing on a new house also something going on with artificial intelligence in that song as well someone could i've been getting that coming through for a long time someone could work online be creating some sort of program or course they could be using ai for something which is really interesting because the other day just yesterday i always tell you guys my comments are messages um someone commented and they asked how i make my thumbnails for my videos and i use um like an ai program for that so definitely a message i feel once again okay guys so my phone just <laughs> died so i'm gonna take that as a message that that's gonna be the end of part one but i'm gonna tell you so for part two we will go over more of karmic person where they're at in this whole situation i know not everyone wants to hear it but i feel like it's really important actually you might want to hear these messages just to know to kind of like know what to look out for with this person they're a little bit wild for some of you like okay actually like a little scary for some of you so we are going to get into the messages about them. I'm getting a lot of different stuff now for what they've been doing. And it's crazy. Like, you guys might want to hear this. Um, so we're going to talk about that. And then also I'm going to talk about more about your 
reunion with this person, more about what's happening there, and then also more about, too, what people think about it, too. It's kind of some weird messages. I'm getting what went on more in this conversation by the fire, what was talked about about you, and the assumptions as well. It's kind of kind of some interesting stuff. So if you want to hear about that, definitely join in the next video. We'll talk about that and anything else, you know, that I might hear before then. Um, thank you guys as always for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and then also join members if you'd like. I posted an hour-long uh, channel message video today. I will likely be posting more very soon um, and that is where I post all the other details. So if you like the detailed messages, definitely join and it does support me. It supports my channel. I just spent, I don't know how many hours pulling cards today, guys, so it really means a lot when you guys do that. Um, honestly, like it helps so much. So thank you to anyone who does or anyone who does choose to donate. Um, yeah, means a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm so tired. Okay, bye. <laughs>